Hi and welcome down to Lower Method Field. We have a beautiful, we have a beautiful night with us. It is about 30 degrees. I am Sam Harding. Alongside me is Bennett Lincoln. Bennett, how are you feeling about this game? Uh, I'm pretty excited, though the cold is a bit uh, dampening on my spirits, but it should be a fun one. It will be. We have four and four NC State taking on the two and two Elon Phoenix and. Elon comes in two and two, but we talked to their coach. They played a game game against Wake and Bennett, you wanna tell us why that four and four isn't or two and two really isn't two and two? <laughs> yeah, it's because uh Wake when they played them it was raining sideways and thirty degrees as the coach explained it was a monsoon really. And so they were just trying to get out of there as quick as they could and he caught what do you say, twelve minute running time or something like that? It was twelve minute running clock, so it wasn't really a full game. Yeah. It was Kind of just a game to have a game. So he said they're two and two with a giant asterisk. And NC State comes in four and four off a rough road trip as we talked to their coach. But this is their first divisional game of the season. And for those that don't know, the the SELC tournament is determined by divisional play. And with this being the first game, how do you think NC State will play? I mean, I think they'll come out with some fire. Like you always want to come out like coming with a lot, with a lot of intensity against the conference opponent, especially since it's gonna like basically determine whether or not they make it to the tournament. Absolutely. We just heard the horns down behind us. We hear the go pack. We'll be right back for face off. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's just wearing a different jersey. There's number 30 on there. Yeah. I think it's still him. It's just wearing a different jersey. I'm going to call him Sykes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, there you go with the penalty. I'm just going to keep this down. It's easier one to talk yeah. to. I mean. So I didn't realize you had your headset on. I was yeah, you're fine. You this. You're all good. I can kind of hear you through my mic. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right. I guess we should start talking about it, huh? Yeah. Well, you want to just act let's like just we're live? In, yeah. Let's yeah. pretend like it's live. Yeah. Oh, I wish I would have known that. Yeah. <laughs> I would have been commentating the entire time. Hi, and welcome down. We have. Already a 1-0 game. It's 12:30 left in the first quarter. Elon scored. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell what number scored, but Elon scored early on. Now we have a man up for NC State. They're moving around, and to my left is Bennett Lincoln. Bennett, say hi to the hi to the viewers. Hello, viewers. Uh, we've been experiencing a little technical issue, so if you're just now joining us, that is why. We have NC State looking for some cuts. Don't really have a great vantage point on the numbers, so we'll try to get this to you. That was a great snipe by number two, Kyle Baker. And Baker, Absolute ripper. Baker, this is his first game back from a concussion. We weren't able to talk about that in the open. But Baker's first game back, that's got to feel good, uh, getting them back on the board. It's going to be a huge impact, too, having him back. If he's, if he's feeling himself like that, scoring efficiently. I was talking to him earlier. He said he was going to point at me if he scored, and he didn't, and I'm kind of upset now. <laughs> so... Maybe when he goes that, back and watches yeah. this, he'll uh, he'll feel sorry. He, he should feel bad. Yeah, maybe he'll get you a gift or something. Maybe <laughs> a new suit jacket. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were bonding because we both wore two and uh, I wore two in high school, and we both got concussions <laughs> as playing in playing across the number it's the two. Old it's the, the old curse of the two. It's the old curse of two. Yep. Will McOwen wins the face off. Elliot Benedict with the with the ground ball. That ball goes to. Elon Phoenix now looking for an attack. Great hit in the middle on the coma slide. That was number 37. James Crick on the attack, but he couldn't get in. We have Will McOwen still on the field. He's normally a FOGO, which is just face off, get off. And this is the longest I think he's been on the field without a face off being, being fought for all season. Now he runs off. We have a little green. Beautiful move there by Walls. Another great. Toe drag by Walls and Walls was. I thought he was going to put that on goal. I did too. Elon just got a stick on it. That's what it looked like. And Elon looking for the clear wild pass going right. <laughs> Gets it to number 27, Brennan Riley. 
It looked like he was going to the short stick, but Riley was luckily there in time. Yeah, it worked out. It did. Now that here we go. Elon gonna get their their six on six, getting their right right men on. I mean, have a good little turnout for this cold night of about 30 degrees. We have two dogs out. <laughs> so watch this f divisional matchup between Elon and NC State. Cutter on the backside, beautiful find. Low to high shot, really good placement. Croth Hamill in goal with a beautiful save. And now we're going the other way. Oh, Ivy just couldn't bring that in. That was a great play there by Croth Hamill. Checking him behind the goal. Found up Moss, great save there by number 64, Stuart Sykes. I can't tell you what the call was, but it's going to go NC State way. And just want to go back to the save there by Croth Hamill. That was a great a shot. Good save. A really good shot. Yeah. Low to high. He was able to track it all great the way. Great awareness by the goalie there. Here we go, NC State with it on the left alley, bringing it up top. Just going to settle in. Ben Klauser now moves it over to Reef Ivy. Looks like Elon's playing a sort of zone against this NC State team. Side. Who's up? Have a shot there. And beautiful shot by Parker Stanton. That, I think that surprised. I think that for, uh, surprised Stanton there. <laughs> Stadden last year was the starting goalie for the NC State team, and he moved this year to MIDI. It's quite the transition. Absolutely. <laughs> He's been playing mainly as a defensive MIDI, yeah. and he was able to put one in the back of the goal, bringing the lead to 2-1 in he, favor of he NC shot State. shot from a ways out, too. I w really was a distant shot. I don't. Yeah. It was a good look, but I don't think he even thought that was going in the back <laughs> of the net. I mean, hey, a maybe, maybe he can just say it was a precise shot, went like opposite side of the goalie there, <laughs> far shoulder. Found the space in the net and just took advantage of it. Yeah, that was a really good shot. I'll be bragging to his friends about that one later tonight. I meant to do that. <laughs> Go back on the face. We have Mick Owen. The refs making sure six are set properly. And going to have a clamp. It's going to go Elon way. Mick Owen runs off trying to get, get the numbers back on. I'm going to have a little three on five right now as Elon has a little yellow getting everyone back on the field. Long toss over, number 50. I'd like to apologize to everyone if we don't have Elon names. It's because our rosters only go up to number 40, <laughs> and they have number 50 on the field. And number 64 in the goal. We were told it was number 30, Stuart Sykes, <laughs> going to start. So if it's not him, we... Blame Elon's head coach for giving us <laughs> false information. Maybe when he said 30, he meant to say 8 squared. I, it's it's <laughs> pretty confusing sometimes. Yeah, you know, common common uh, occurrence. Great nug there by Ballsbow. Finally learned how to say his name properly. <laughs> it's an interesting one. It is. Croth Hamill moves it up, looking for someone to challenge him to get get a man open. Finds Pryor. Beautiful pass, and Pryor's on the, on the move. Just going to get a touch, waiting for someone to come to him. If no one comes, he might just take that shot. Passes to Moss. Moss doesn't get the body in front of him. Let's go out the back of the side, back of the, back of the field. <laughs> Ball's up with who we think is Sykes. Moved up to the long stick. Looking for a shorty to get it to. Just playing good little ride here by NC State. Nothing too drastic, just putting a little pressure. And we're gonna have offsides. We had too many Elon players, on, Elon players over. And here's Elliot Benedict, long stick, number 30, passes it. Number 12, Evan Ryer. NC State is missing two key players tonight. With uh, Andrew Davis, he is out. Andrew Davis is out with a concussion. They got suffered during the Virginia Tech game in the road trip, and. Chris Schultz is out with the flu. And it's best he stays away from us because I'm not I'm not interested in catching the flu. <laughs> we had uh, Jake Walls, number 26. He was, he was talking to me earlier. This might be his flu game. He was feeling sick. He took a 
Took a day quill around four, four, and he's ready to go. Pryor with a great chase, making sure to get the ball for their team. You saw that fire up Crothamel. Crothamel is playing with a lot of intensity early on. There haven't been too many shots, but he's been looking very intense in goal. That's what you want to see. There's Travis Hinshaw bringing it over. Easily gets it to number 24, Sean Tobin. Tobin's chasing number 74. Good check there by Tobin. It was clean. I think I think he was a little upset about turning the ball over to number 74. Just a little retaliation. Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> he got a little frustrated there. But that's the beauty of this game. It is legal to hit people, and that's what we like to see. <laughs> Big hits and good shots. If you're just joining us, we'd like to welcome you. We had a little technical difficulties, but we are back now. And the score is 2 1 with 6.50 left in the first quarter. I am Sam Harding. Alongside me is Bennett Lincoln. Crothamel brings it out, tries to get it to Pryor. Pryor's just slapping it around. Pryor, Pryor with a great kick. Pryor's now running on the fast break. Pryor again can't come up with it. Just can't wrangle that ball in. Pryor's had a lot of difficulties there, but he's stuck with it. Yeah, you, you can't you can't blame him for the hustle. You just gotta gotta get that ball in there and push it up. We have Pryor trotting back. Elon looking for an attack here. That's number ninety seven. We do not have a name for him. Ball's up to number nine. Will Lobero. Good check there by Ballsbro. And I think that was a ward called on Elon. Crothamel, before the, something interesting there that Crothamel did, before, before the refs blew the whistle, he was already surveying the field, waiting for them to blow it, because they he was checking, see if he had any open men, and he saw they didn't, so he looked to the other side, found someone quick. But that's, that is a high IQ, a little yeah. subtle Good play awareness. there. Yeah. Having that field vision. Crothamel has been on top of it, only allowing one goal so far in his within the first 30 seconds of the game, and he's looked very solid ever since. There goes Matherly. Matherly, this is his first game back from a hamstring injury. He missed the road trip, and he also missed the last home game against Wake. We actually were thankful enough to do a mid-game interview with him. So I'd like to give him a little shout out there. And that's Tobin gonna get checked in the head. No penalty is down. There he goes. And Tobin puts it in the back of the net, took one on the dome, and <laughs> then ended up on the ground, still put one in, it's 3-1. What'd you see on that play there, Bennett? Uh, I mean, he just powered through the contact. The ref didn't call the foul. It's pretty blatant, but uh, <laughs> I mean, he powered through it, and he just ripped one low, and the goalie just couldn't react in time, so now State's up 3-1. to one. It's a pretty shot. I think they're going to wave off this penalty. Yeah, it was a late whistle. Yeah. A issue that's been plaguing NC State, we, we'll talk about that in a few minutes, but NC State's looked – Really hot after allowing that first quick goal. I think they just wanted to get broadcasted. Yeah. I think they just wanted to like make sure that they're on air so they could show out. <laughs> but and they have so far. They have. They got three quick goals. NC State's been coming out hot. That's something that they did against Wake and UNC Charlotte when they played. NC State is undefeated at home, and I think they just, they really want to keep that going. What we talked about in the open that I want to hit on more is this is the first divisional game for NC State. Elon already played one against Clemson. They lost. And, Bennett, we were talking earlier, what do you got to do to get into this, to the Southeastern Lacrosse Tournament? So I'm not sure how many divisions there are, but you have to win your division to get to the tournament. And both these teams are looking to get their first division win, and that's always crucial, getting that momentum going. To, uh, to make it to the tournament and win your division. Hmm. You, we talked to Coach earlier. He basically told us that 
you can lose every game, but as long as you win the right ones. Yeah. And this is one of the ones that they have to win. This Absolutely is, have to win. There are four games that they circle on their calendar every year. It's Elon, South Carolina, Clemson, and ECU. Yeah. Whether they're rivalries or not, but it's – because if you win those, if you're Owen <laughs> – if you're four and eleven, you'll get in if you win those right games, and that's what Elon is looking to do. They're coming in two and two with that giant asterisk. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get in there. I think it is the uh, top two, if I'm not mistaken. It might be top two from each division. I believe so. Okay. It makes the most sense. To yeah. Me. Yeah. But I can't really remember off the top of my head. I do believe it's the top two. But either way, you want to win those divisional exactly. games. And th we might see a heightened level of competition here because both teams are hungry for that divisional win. Absolutely. If you get, if you win the division out or the division outright, then you get the higher seed, and that'll help you with buys. And we have, right now, uh, a little divisional look. We have Clemson at two and zero in the division. East Carolina sits at zero and two. Elon 0 and 1, NC State 0 and 0 for their, because this is their first game, and South Carolina undefeated 1 0. So we have a big matchup coming up soon with Clemson and South Carolina. That'll have a lot of playoff implications for this NC State team. But right now, with no losses, they're in control of their destiny. Here we go back to the face. It's Will McOwen, and I can't tell you the number of the man for the Phoenix. I was going to say before the timeout, NC State, they had trouble early on in the season at the faceoff X, but their last game against Wake, they really picked it up. And McGowan really came into his own and was able to win a good bit of faceoffs, yeah. which is crucial in lacrosse. You win the face-off X more times than not. You will win the you'll win the game. Wild pass there from from Ryer. There's Tobin. Tobin wearing sweats. I think one of the few <laughs> NC State players wear sweats that's not in cage. Might be advisable. Great save there by Sykes. Baker tried to go off stick low, and Sykes was all over that one. Crossfield pass, beautiful on a rope. Good connection. It's number 38. That <laughs> We have up to 40, but we don't have 38. Great checks there by, by Benedict and Ballsbo. Ballsbo. <laughs> I know how to pronounce it. I still can't <laughs> say it right. Okay. Down English is hard. Yeah, <laughs> English is hard. Down goes Ryer. Ryer's going to walk. Benedict's going to get off the field. Ryer moves it up to Tobin. Tobin's got the long stick on him. Great pass! Wow. What a pass by Tobin to Moss! I don't think anyone from <laughs> Elon... I don't think the only person that was ready for that pass was Hank Moss. And yeah, that Hank was a heads-up play on both ends there. That was a beautiful pass. Just threaded the needle right through. Caught the defense sleeping. They must have some telepathic connection there because I don't think anybody knew where that pass was going, like you said. Just beautiful pass. He, he wound up, too, like it was a shot, and he fired it in there. He knew he had to put yeah. it in hot. They must have drawn that up after practice. I th just those two. <laughs> yeah, just the. I think they are actually talking if – Elon goes zone against us. This is what we do, and they ran it to a T right there. They had Read the Moss perfectly. Yeah, they had Moss cut backside. Tobin was able to able to fire that in there. Have Mick Owen on the face again. Ref getting his nose in there. Sets the ball down. NC State starting out hot again. Four and one. Four two one. <laughs> and we have a kick of the stick against. Elon, Benedict picks it up, gives it to Walls. We had the yellow call. I think Walls just had a little conversation with the ref there. I don't know if he said anything. They looked at each other, I'm pretty sure. Refiving now moves it over to number 17, Ben Klauser. 
Klauser's going to get a lot more playing time tonight because we have Evan Schultz out with the flu. So he's going to fill his spot on the number one midi line. What are these injuries and just players out due to this NC State team? I mean, it really depends on who they're to, but if it's if it's attack or a midi, you don't. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sometimes it can really just negatively affect your like your your mindset going into the game because there's obviously like a community with teams and if if that's broken or if somebody's hurt then like it might negatively impact their their mindset going into the game but so far nc state coming out hot four goals so far to elon's one this is one of klauser's first games back he's coming off a torn acl which is you always never rough see that yeah at any level no any opponent just not not something you want to see in sports klauser coming coming with an out has a short stick on him good little move you heard the bench shouting, shot, shot, shot. They needed to get a shot off because the shot clock was working against them. To counteract the shot clock, you either need to hit goalie, hit pipe, or put it in the back of the net. Uh, and NC State got no shot off there. And it's I'm going not seeing anywhere Elon. that a, a player could see a shot clock. They So the only time that we've had that, the Wake, Wake Force coach actually left his shot clocks in his car by accident. Oh. So when Wake came... Very we were convenient. able to have shot clocks on the field, but we normally just have it at the table. The, you'll see some hand signals from the refs to the table, but it's all reliance on the benches relaying information, shouting, you got 20. It's a lot of, a lot of communication, especially in club when you don't have too many resources, so you're going to have to be going to have to adapt. You're going to have to listen, make sure you can hear them, especially with your defensive communication. You hear Crothamel talking. Oh. That was a great, great cut down the side of the goal, and that was, I believe, number 18. Henry Allen on the goal puts it in the back of the net, and that's 4-2 with 37 seconds left. And what did you see on that play there, Bennett? Uh, just an isolation play behind the net. The Elon player beat the NC State player and, and got it to his man in front of the goal, and he was just able to put it on net. Slick little spin move back there, too, to get past his defender. It was. He, so the defender thought he was going to have the slide, didn't come in time, and when he did come, the attacking player was able to find Allen for the goal. Face off, moved out to the NC State side, and now won by Elon. Wild pass though. That's Hinshaw chasing it out. He's going to bring it back up. Have sh short clock. Hinshaw pass right to the middle of the field. Pryor can't. Pryor's having trouble today scooping <laughs> up. It it's a plague. <laughs> it is. Oh, and the Elon player now has trouble <laughs> reining in the ball. And you're going to have 9.2 seconds left. Ball's bow. He's probably going to just chuck it down. There you go. Croth Hamill. Look for Croth Hamill. Just send it. See if they can get anything. Three, two. Ball's behind the net. Nothing's going to happen. That's the end of the first quarter. NC State had some trouble there. Pryor, I think, has caught. He's not caught much, honestly. It's tough to see. He's normally one of the best ball handlers on the state team. He's been having a little trouble recently, but NC State goes in 4-2 to the end of the first. And what did you see through that first quarter there? Uh, I mean, obviously Elon got the quick goal. Uh, it was like the first 30 seconds, and then NC State just responded immediately with three quick goals, and then the fourth one coming a little later. And obviously Elon got back into it a little bit with their second goal. But uh, so far, pretty good offensive pressure from State, finding the gaps in that zone, as you were mentioning, Elon playing that zone. And obviously it's, it's a good defensive scheme, but – Sometimes there's there's always going to be holes in any defense, but in zone, if you can exploit them correctly, then you're going to do well and score goals. We talked about the offensive pressure from NC State. Now, what can Elon do to put that pressure on NC State? Um, I think what we saw for Elon's second goal back there with the 
little isolation uh, behind the net and then finding his man in front of the net for the for the easy goal. I think the defender in front of the net for NC State was a little out of position there, giving Elon a slightly easier shot on goal. But the goalie just didn't have a chance with that that goal, I don't think. As the huddle's going on, stick check's happening. And defensively, what what do you think NC State can tune up? Um, uh, I w I'm not sure I saw the first goal, but on the second goal, I think if they're going to be, you know, guarding individual players, they need to stay on their men and be in position. Because I think, like I said, the, the defender in front of the goal just let his man get in front of him for the easy wide open look. So I think just maintain your position and make sure you stay in front of your man. Absolutely. If you're going to slide, make sure you know who's the hot slide and make sure that two is there. That is the goalie's responsibility to make sure that you have that everyone on the field knows who the hot slide is and then the two. Because if you if you have the hot side go, that's great until no one comes to your back and your man that you just left is now wide open, right. usually on the doorstep. And second half starts, you have NC State trotting back out. White helmets, white white uniforms with the red trim, black and red pants. Very clean, very clean uniforms. It is a clean look. <laughs> and we have we have Elon, and I think we had an illegal stick. Oh, no. That is an illegal stick for Hank Moss. I can't tell you the time, but... That's a locked-in penalty. So if there's a goal for Elon or even NC State, but any Elon goal, they will still be manned down. E NC State will. That will not release the penalty. But out of the gate, we have Elon losing their possession. Walls. We had an Elon push, but NC State had possession, so... Don't understand why they blew the whistle there. Yeah, that always messes up momentum in any sport if the if the ref blows the whistle when you have possession, especially on a break like that. Yeah, he should not have blown the whistle there. When Elon's going to double, Ooh. great little move there by Reef Ivy. Now, Ivy's going to be able to move around. Elon's playing smart here, sending a lot of pressure to the ball that they're going to be manned up. But Ivy is really good. Yeah, Ivy splits the entire defense. Brings it. We're going to have a play on. We're going to have a push into the crease. Ivy was playing great there. Ivy needs a needs a break, it looks like. It was a little one-man offensive show. That was, that was great from Ivy. Now we have Walls. He looked to cut through the middle, but I think Elon realized Ivy did that too much. Maybe we should get a little tighter on our doubles. When you... When you double team, once I will get that in a second. Oh, I thought he shot it there. It was a good fake. It was a good fake. And oh. we're even, and Hank Moss comes back in with a legal stick and rips one up top. That was only, a, I believe, that was only a minute that we lost with man down. And Hank Moss was able to come back in and make I an impact. I think he just re-entered unnoticed by the Elon defense and was able to just rip one in there from pretty far out honestly I think he did as well I didn't hear many people shouting even 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 normally the bench is supposed to indicate yeah. you hey we're now even especially if you're doubling that mm. tough like Elon was you want to know that you want to get back in essential. most teams will normally try to stay in their man their either man up or man down defense if you have Usually, you don't have that opportunity where you're man up and then you have to find the new man coming in to make it 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. Because you should be on offense at that point, but that's an opportunity squandered there by Elon, and NC State was able to make the most of it. Faceoff won, then instantly lost. Referee was playing as a screen. He did not look like he cared at all if he was <laughs> to get hit. Elliot Benedict oh. tried to get it there. It's really tough to navigate with the long long stick like that. And we have Harrison Ryder who's also playing in sweatpants alongside Sean Tobin. Both are wearing gray sweats. I thought it was Tobin in there until I saw number six on the jersey. Oh, 
Oh, balls up. Great save there. <laughs> Great save and then slide by number Jukes 24, himself. Jack Potter. Jack Potter is a player to watch. He, he is the point leader for this Elon team with six. He has three goals, three assists, pretty evenly distributed. And flag is up. Balls at the back of the net. And that's going to be on David Pryor, as you can tell. It was him as he, as he walked out. He put his head down right before he left. Now he's out. And he gives the long stick to number to 25, Connor Boyle. That's a little interesting move there. So bringing in a long stick. I don't know how many long poles they have on the bench, but Bo Boyle's just going to go ahead and stay on. We have Benedict Boyle, Hinshaw, Ballsbow, and Ballsbow with the slip, and Staden playing in the midi position. A very solid defensive unit for NC State on the, on the field right now. Great save by Crothamel. That was a fantastic shot there. That was a quick stick by Elon. That was a great yeah, pass cross. The equivalent of an alley oop. <laughs> that is exactly what that is. Especially he knew if he came down with it, he was going to get hit. Crothamel was probably going to slide. Crothamel was playing, playing very aggressive. And so he put that in, and Crothamel was able to move his body all the way across and get that, get there in time. Have Walls just walking around. Walls up with Tobin. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen NC State on the offensive side of things. Lord knows it's been a while. <laughs> Tobin just toying, hanging out near the near the top, just getting a little rest for his defense. I'm sure that they all appreciate it. And something that I want to point out is, it seems like the the field is getting a little slippery right now. We've had a lot of players in this quarter alone just falling when they shouldn't have fa fallen, just like regular cuts. How do you think that will play into the game? Whether not just like. Not just physically, but mentally, maybe. Um, well, I mean, physically, obviously, if you go to make a cut and you can't get there, then then that kind of eliminates a play that could have happened. But then if it continues to happen mentally, you're going to be like, oh, maybe I shouldn't make this cut because then I could end up on my tail. And you never want to see that because it's kind of embarrassing when you slip. It truly Even is. if it's not your fault. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's one of those things that people will – get lambasted for even if it's just a turf issue and there you go walls great save there by Sykes Sykes slipping in the sand it looked like but walls did exactly what he was supposed to do he got as close as he could till he was about to get hit try to go stick side low high low that's a good look Tobin now Tobin with the shot that's that's gonna stay NC State I thought that Sykes might have had that chase but Tobin was able to change hands on that shot, really go low and hide the ball from from Sykes, using his defender to to his advantage, making sure he couldn't see the ball come out to the very last second, which is really tough as a goaltender trying to track it. Oh, it's a good save there from the Elon goalie. Not sure who shot that on NC State side, but. And ball's gonna go NC State way. He pointed the wrong way at first. He smiles to the crowd. He realized he messed up. The referee did. And now NC State's gonna have it. Crothamel with a great pass to the box. That's Tobin. And you, you gotta love when a referee has a little personality like yeah. that. Ooh. Sykes almost took out the goal there. That's a great shot by Tobin. Tobin's been very aggressive. Yeah, one thing I'm noticing from him is his speed. He's a very, very speedy player. He's been beating the defense a lot, getting open looks. But their goalie's been active this this period, minus the the one goal that he's allowed. Tobin, <laughs> I was actually talking to Tobin earlier, and I told him that he's one of the players that I can always tell it's him. Because he has that speed you just mentioned, so it made me chuckle a little bit. <laughs> he he is a very fast player. 
not to say this. So. Yeah, not to say that this NC State team is not, but Tobin, you can tell it's a different run when it's him. He gets down the field a lot quicker than most. I, yeah, there's there's fast and there's then there's just a special type of fast that you can tell the difference immediately. We got nine minutes left. Five two NC State. Elon high low shot kind of bounces out the pass. Tries to feed the crease, didn't get it. And don't know. What, I think White was playing in the crease, maybe. I heard crease. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the speed. I want to point out that there is deceptively fast and deceptively slow, <laughs> and I fall into the latter camp. So if anyone, if anyone knows nothing about speed, it is me. I. Most people, when I play pickup basketball, they don't want to guard me because they think I'm fast. And I let them know that I'm actually deceptively <laughs> slow. I look a lot faster than I am. I like to think I fall into the deceptively fast category, <laughs> but I extremely doubt that. <laughs> I always ran faster in games than I did not in games. There's something. Yeah. I felt like I ran so much faster to I mean, break up fights than I did <laughs> in practice. With, with a large crowd looking on, you have to show out. Yeah, as a showman. <laughs> just thinking about a Even show. Even at the risk of your body, you have to show <laughs> out. Talking about shows, we have NC State and Elon putting one on right now. Yeah, break out the popcorn. Great great check by Benedict. Just letting him know I'm there. Benedict really using that stick to drive him back. And... What? They, I see the net bouncing. They it in? I think they did, but I think they were in the crease. So Crothamel, that was another great awareness there by Crothamel, knowing play's not going to start until they blow the whistle. I think Ball's bow just got away with a little ward playing with the free hand. But he made sure he got the ball, spread it out of the crease because he knew that the man was going to be the way, in the way. Great save by Sykes there. Didn't see you shot. Just looked back in time. To see Sykes with that great save. Feel a slight, uh, slight breeze picking up here. Uh, it is getting noticeably colder. That breeze is cruel. Yeah. Good spin move. Speaking about the cold, most lacrosse players. What? <laughs> I think <laughs> <laughs> they the NC State bench erupted like it was very obvious. So I, the call was so I felt a little lost, but I think it was just a just a time time issue. I think it was they didn't get it across in twenty seconds. It's kinda like a ten sec ten second violation in basketball. Gonna have a timeout in NC State, so now I have a little bit more time to explain this. So <laughs> you have eighty seconds to bring the ball up and get a shot off on the shot clock. You have an eighty second shot clock, but twenty of those are devoted to bring the ball up the field. So if you take too long, if you don't, if you take 21 seconds, it's going to be a penalty and it's going to go the other way. And that's what just happened to Elon. Now you can obviously get it up quicker and have more time on the other side, but you have to get it up before 20 or you're going to turn it over and the NC State bench is going to erupt like they just did. Um, yeah, speaking of getting it up, so if if you're down – If you're down, uh, like Elon is, um, say say you're down three goals and it's late in the latter latter parts of the game, do you do you see oftentimes more pressure, like to 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 cause a twenty second violation? Yeah, <laughs> our director Will is laughing behind us, and it, and to answer your question, but it, <laughs> you really want to get it up as quick as possible.
need to bring it up the field, get your shot off, and then win the face, bring it back. It's time changes when you're down. Yeah, it does. It, it, it goes by a lot quicker. Sorry for any, any silence there. We were being we're harassed by a bee, so we had to take care of that, make sure we could continue broadcasting at a, at a healthy pace without any inflammation or bee stings, anything like that. No anaphylactic shock. <laughs> I learned that in ninth grade. I am surprised that I still remember it. Yep, and uh, if you're allergic to bees and get stung, I hope you have $600 for an EpiPen. I hope so, too. <laughs> now Ball goes to NC State. NC State, they're... Oh, they looked like he was looking to rip that one in there. Looks like they're man up right now. And Ball's out the back of... The oh, just saved there by Walls. They're man up. They're playing six on five. Ball's being brought around. Ball's up with Baker. Baker, high shot, high to high. Doesn't get it in. Check right on the right on the stick. Have three NC State players down. Ball's been moved around. And we're gonna have another failure to advance. Elon just couldn't get it across the line in time. Twenty seconds. Seems a little long right now. Bennett's back. Bennett's got his glasses yeah, on right my, now. My contacts messed up, so Oh, Another goal by Tobin. Is that, his, is that his second or third? I want to say that's his second. That's his second goal. And second goal first. He has two, three points on the day or on the night. Two goals, one assist, that beautiful assist to Moss on the crease. And Tobin thinks the sweatpants. It, it's got to be. There's, there's some magic sewn into those things. That was a great shot. Tobin's really been on fire right now. I mean, he's got to be, you know, wearing those sweatpants. His legs are probably a little warm. <laughs> Metaphorically and physically on fire. Definitely. I <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we are not on fire up here. It is very cold. I'm wearing boots and my feet are starting to freeze. <laughs> but on the field, we have some hot action with five, five minutes, 30 left. In the half. Maybe we should step a little closer to the action. It's kind of like a portable heater right now. <laughs> Honestly, if we get closer to Tobin, we might burst into flames. He's so hot right now. That's number 38. Don't have him on the roster. This is, this is kind of disappointing with how little, little people we have on this 40, 40 number roster. Yeah, apologies to those parents watching. If we can't, uh, if we can't call out your son's name, we'll call out his number though, and hopefully <laughs> it's him. Number thirty-eight now drives down the right, right side. I hope his parents are listening and happy. Uh, yeah, I, ho I hope I hope they all told their uh, their parents their numbers tonight. <laughs> so, Just a little so heads up. Know. Hey, yeah. I'm wearing thirty-eight tonight. Wish me luck, mom. Great check there by NC State. Long pass, dangerous. Henshaw having a little trouble. On the back of Crothamel. Crothamel with another great pass. Dangerous, almost almost hit uh, hit Benedict in the head. Here Moss yelling, reef, reef. Trying to get Ivy's attention. Have yellow. Ivy's just gonna hang out with it. Four minutes left in the half. Six to two. Sadden is now on the field. Sadden with it. Sadden with a goal early on. He was the one that made it two one. NC State has not trailed since I believe thirteen minutes in the first half. Since that opening goal. Since that opening goal, that was the only time that they were down. Oh, that pass was more of a shot there from. Uh, <laughs> He's trying to take out his uh, teammates' angles. Yeah, trying to get a little bit more playing time there, are you, Sen? <laughs> now we're going 
Back the other way, Sadden stays in for defense, looks for a man to pick up. Number 48 moves it along, 51 with it, high, long pass over. It's number nine, Will Lowborough. Lowborough being harassed, I believe, by Balls Bow. Two names that are say, spelt very similar, pronounced very differently. Great defense there, and, the, and we're gonna have a penalty on I can't tell you the number yet Klauser's just running off because this is on Benedict I think they're getting him for a slash and that was a shout out to our camera camera girl Jasmine for the information relaying it over but I didn't really see a slash whether it was on on Benedict or not, I can't really tell you. It looks like a lot of bodies in there. But if you're Elon, you really need to take take control of this. You need to capitalize on this opportunity. Prior, great checks on the hand. Even if they don't get that ground ball there, they eat a little bit of time that Elon has to set up their play. Great nug there by Hinshock. Oh, but a beautiful check there by the attackman. This has been a sloppy looking man up from Elon, but they still maintain possession, which is better than they did at the start of the half, where they lost their man up. Yeah, and allowed NC State to score. NC State is really playing aggressive here. This is That's some defense that you would see to a team that is down 5-3. Yeah. Or so about three goals with with about five minutes left in the game. Not a team that's up six two with two oh. minutes left in the in the half. Yeah, I'm not sure who that was playing defense, but he did a very good job sticking in front of his man and making sure there was nowhere to go with the ball. Absolutely, and here we go. We got number fifty one takes a stick from it. From Moss. Score 6 2 in favor of the NC State Pacalax team. Minute 25 on the clock. Great slide there by Pryor. Oh, wow. NC State ends up. With oh, that, that was ball Benedict somehow. on the slide. Benedict's going. He's looking for someone to move to. Moves it to. Try to move it to walls but through to where he was not to where he was going through right behind him balls going to elon gonna have number 14 nick nick uh nick copolo copolo just looking for someone to get it to walls walls playing really good defense there last year Walls was one of the starting and star LSMs for NC State. I feel like they might call Walls there, but Walls switched to attack this season. This is his first season as attack, and I think he's the leading leading point getter for this NC State team. So this switch has really helped him out, and I believe it is on Walls. Walls is taking that trot over. Right to the middle, nothing. And it's going to be whistle dead. Does that flag act as uh, sort of like a, an advantage arrow almost, as it would in soccer? It, it does. I can't speak to soccer, <coughs> but in hockey, because this it's hockey with sticks <laughs> in a way. Similar. Not to be mistaken with field hockey, yeah. but it – in a power play, you have a delayed penalty. Same, I believe, with soccer. But in lacrosse and hockey, you have a delayed penalty. So let's say that's, for example, that play that just happened. You had that slash. Elon cut possession, so they are able to keep their possession with six on six mm -hmm. until they lose it or they put the ball in the back of the net. So you'll see teams usually force a little bit more, but also wait till they get their shot they want because yeah. they have a free opportunity. They know 
hey. They know they're getting the ball back. Exactly. So yeah. if you see a man who's kind of open on the crease, you're probably going to feed it to him more than you would if you didn't have that extra play. Right. However, power plays haven't – not power plays. Man up <laughs> advantages have not been kind hockey to this. Hockey on the mind. Hockey on the mind. <laughs> Big – I'm a bunch of jerks fan, so go Hurricanes. <laughs> but – Carolina all the way. Yeah. Back on the field. Power – man helps. You got me to say it again. Man ups have not been kind to this Elon team. They had let a goal be scored on yeah. them. And they didn't really get a shot off in the last one. And you're in a weird time here because it's probably a, a minute or so penalty. If they just maintain possession going into the end of the half, we have 16 seconds left, they could just go into the half with a no-man face, which looks like what they might do. So they can maintain possession, which they're not – they might lose if Benedict picks it up. Benedict needs – and that's possession, so there will be a face. What that I've, is huge for NC State. What I've noticed from Benedict is he's very quick on getting those ground balls. Like, even with the long stick, he, he picks it up very smoothly and, and manages to maintain possession. He had a, a turnover or a, a quick steal earlier with a, with a sly little stick move and just there managed to get that big play for NC State. Absolutely, and that is huge because – Going into the half with possession for Elon, that means there would have been no face. So they would have definitely had possession, man up, been able to come out of half with a play drawn up, probably get a goal back there. But now Benedict with that great play, getting the ball back, there's going to be a face. So either NC State's going to have a chance to get possession or what is more likely, they eat some of that time where that penalty really doesn't mean anything. And that is the end of the first half. 6-2 in favor of NC State. We'll be right back. Lower Method Field. I am Sam Harding. Alongside me is the now glasses-wearing Bennett Lincoln. And I just want to go ahead and give a little shout-out to our director, Will Osman. Thank you for the little, little wrap over the mic. It is so cold out here. It's 30 degrees. And you have to know, some of these players are feeling the effects of this this weather. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, even being out on the field, moving around, getting warm. I mean, I feel like warm is a relative term at this point because it is so cold to us just sitting there. So, I mean, even though they are moving around a lot, I feel like some of them, even if they go off for like two minutes, it probably still feels like Antarctica. <laughs> it's very cold, but a player that's been on fire is Sean Tobin, number 24. He has... Three points, two goals, one amazing assist from the top of the top of the box down to the crease to Hank Moss. And just tell me a little about his game so far. Uh, well, I mean, as we saw, he just weaved that one right in there, right in the middle of the zone. He found the hole, was able to exploit it. And, uh, I mean, his speed, too, has been unbelievable. He's, he's noticeably quicker than some of those other players. As we were saying, there's... You know, un unsuspecting quick and then unsuspecting slow, and and he's definitely on the speedier end of that spectrum. Really is. And now on the flip side, what can what can Elon do to get back in this game? They're down four goals right now, which in the grand scheme of things is not a lot, especially with 30 minutes left. But what can they do to start climbing back out of that hole? Um, I mean, they had success on that one. I'm not sure what happened on the first goal because we were we, we were not paying attention, unfortunately. But on that second goal, there was the isolation behind the goal, and he was able to find his open man in front in front of the goal. So if they can exploit that more, then maybe they'll, they'll be able to get some more points on the board and, and make it a closer game. Like you said, we weren't really paying attention to that first goal, but I do believe that is how they scored that first one. I looked right, right as it was happening. But it seemed that there was a man right on goal that was being hugged by his teammates. So I believe that he was the one that put the ball in the back of the net. So that is definitely something that Elon needs to exploit. And in net, when when NC State makes them shoot, Crothamel has been outstanding. Not just been a beast in the goal. Not just by saves, but also clearing, which is the second part of the game yeah. for goalie. It's one thing if you can just just make saves, but it's another to actually get it out and get the offense going. What can you say to his game so far? Um, I mean, obviously clearing the ball is, is important, getting it off your side so that your offense can get going. But if you make a, an errant clear and the ball goes out of bounds, 
possession will probably go the other way. So his his pinpoint clears have really made the difference, and I, I believe in NC State's offense as a whole. It really has. I believe it start the offense has started from the defensive side, and we have about two minutes left. We'll be we'll be right back in a few. At Potbelly, everything you find is a little bit happier, sweeter, fresher, groovier, and yummier. Why? Because at Potbelly, we know it's never enough to just eat lunch. You gotta feed your smile. Swing by for our new turkey club, handcrafted to make you smile. Locally owned and operated by an NC State graduate, the Red and White Shop is your one-stop shop for all things Wolfpack. Located in the Ridgewood Shopping Center off of Wade Avenue, the Red and White Shop recently expanded from 2,400 to 5,400 square feet. Whether you're in need of tailgating essentials, decals and magnets, home goods, apparel for people of all ages, or sporting goods, the Red and White Shop has it all. Stop by today for your NC State needs. I was diagnosed at 65. 37, earlier than most. Every nine minutes, someone is diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And every one of them can turn to the American Parkinson Disease Association. Visit APDAparkinson.org to learn more and show your support today. Oh, hey, bud. Where, uh, where are you headed? Uh, just gonna hang out. With Gary and Todd? Yeah. I've been meaning to ask you, is there any drinking going on in this crowd? No. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I'd do anything to keep you safe. Okay, I will. I hope this is working. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Hi, and welcome back down to Lower Method Field. I'm Sam Harding. Alongside me is my frozen counter counterpart, Bennett Lincoln. And our breath has gotten a lot stronger. It is a lot easier to see our breath right now. And Bennett, just take me inside. What do you think these players are doing just to stay warm? Not even, not even the ones that are playing, but the ones on the sideline. Because most of those players are still in shorts as well. Yeah, uh... If you didn't wear your sweatpants and, and you're not going to be getting a lot of playing time, that is unfortunate for you because your joints are going to be stiff when you try and get out there on the field. So, I mean, before we got on camera, I was I was jumping around trying to get some blood pumping through my through my joints, and they were they were icy. I thought I tore a muscle or something. I <laughs> I actually just hit 10,000 steps right here, bouncing around a little hey, bit, trying to get a little. Thank you, thank you. It's a, it's a huge milestone. It on is the day. a yeah. What is it's that about? About four miles. We'll say it is. <laughs> I honestly do not know. We'll get our researcher director, Will, on it. Will will research how many steps 10,000 is for us, and we'll get back to you as the burning question of the day. It's Tweet like in to, uh, any more questions <laughs> that you have for us to answer that are broadcast appropriate on to at into the pack on Twitter. NC State with it, and they're going to have possession going into it, but – the Elon Phoenix have Elon Phoenix have the man up, so they're still trying to double here. But it hasn't been successful on the day for them so far. So no, if the ball gets back to Reef Ivy, this whole this whole defense is in trouble. Ball's now back at X. They're, they're man up, but it's not phasing NC State at all. They're can oh, and there you go. That. <laughs> is that Tobin, that is Tobin with his fourth point of the day. Backpedals all the way back to midfield. Right as, right as it released, I was watching the man coming out of the box. You were thankfully watching the goal. <laughs> and so tell me and all the viewers, what just happened there? Uh, I mean, I, I guess Elon's zone just isn't enough to match Tobin's speed, and he was just able to throw one in there low underneath the goalie stick and, and snuck it in there. But, I mean, Elon on these man-ups, just they, they've they not been successful so far. What do, you, what do you think's been the contributing factor to their lack of success for, for having one more man up? I 
I think they might be trying to play a little too aggressive. The there's a when you start to double like they have been, they they seem to be getting a lot a lot more aggressive than they should. Good good idea. Good idea. Yeah. And good face off win by McGowan there. These players might be a little cold coming out of the half. And we have word that ten thousand steps is five miles. We'd like <laughs> to thank our director who just brought that over to us. Director, producer, <laughs> For all star. For all those who were, who were itching to know the answer to that. I honestly was. That intriguing trivia question. Make sure to tweet all of your other trivia questions, too, into the pack. And I would like to make a little, little announcement. I checked at the end of the end of the half. I had a notification the SELC just followed me on Twitter. So I have made it. Thank you. The Southeastern Lacrosse Conference has finally followed me on Twitter. I'm going to follow them back when we are done. And i just like to make sure everyone knows that I am a reliable source now. <laughs> you're, you're one step away from being verified on Twitter. I think I am. If I get a blue check just because the SELC followed me, I'd be very happy. <laughs> back to the field. We have Crothamel, another great pass to Benedict. Ooh, high check. No indication from the from the official. No. Good good little wraparound there by Benedict. Matherly. Matherly also wearing sweats. What good ball movement. That's a goal by Hank Moss right on the doorstep. 8-2 is the lead now for NC State. Just Take me through that last play there. Just some pitch and catch from NC State. They got they got behind the defense. And Elon just could not could not catch up to that NC State offense, and just once again, NC State with a quick draw and able to put it in the back of the net. And that all started from Scotty Croft Hamill in the back of the net. He was able to find his man, hit Benedict with a great pass, a great clear. Really leads to some good offense there, especially with an aggressive Elon team trying to get back into it. They're going to over-pursue a little bit and usually leave a man on the back back like they did to Hank Moss. And Hank has been just the crease man all season. He's He's been notorious for scoring five goals and taking four steps. <laughs> it just it looks like Elon's scrambling right now and they don't know what to do. I have a push on NC State. We're going to have a reset of the clock. You could tell by the finger spin. Mm -hmm. Ball's being moved around. Ran around by Elon. Number 51 held up there by Hinshaw. Prior play in the X position. Good check. Ball's on the ground. And Crothamble out of goal. Bold Cro move. That is a bold move. Crothamble didn't know where it went. That's an aggressive strategy there by Croth Hamill. I like the idea, but I think the execution could have been a little better. He over-pursued the ball yeah. and then was playing with his with his back away from the goal. You usually want your back to the goal so that you can easily run back because normally the player will be in front of you. So you can match them, and it's easier to play defense when you're in front of the player than behind. Even if you're not in net, as a goal, you can still play defense there. He so put his back to the net. Bold move that could have turned into a costly mistake. Yes. But fortunately, NC State able to clear the ball. And mm. and no hard no hard feelings to, to cross handle there. Yeah, he's <laughs> been playing very aggressive. That's not like it's his first aggressive move all game. That's something that NC State knows they're going to get from cross handle, some aggressive play in net, which is something I really appreciate because that's what I would do, especially if it's behind the net. You're going to think – I can pick that up and get it out to my player, or at least move it, kick it out maybe, mm -hmm. let them set it up. But you're thinking, if there's one person there, you're going to get that ball for your team. Ball's being moved around. Baker's fixing his helmet. Good move there. Couldn't see the number. Ball bounces. That's Ryer. Great save there. It looked like that one might have leaked in, but it was just on the far side of the goal. I think Moss and number 20-something, I can't tell the number, 
had a collision from Elon Longstick is now walking off. Moss was a little slow to get up there. Blow the play dead. NC State's going to have it on the side alley. Good to see him walking off. No, nothing serious, hopefully. Probably just had a little wind knocked out of it. Maybe a little, a little, little arm. In the head, yeah. Maybe. But both players seem to be all right. Speaking of a player that hasn't come back, we haven't seen Reef Ivy, I believe, since he split the entire Elon team. He came up limping after that. Still on the sideline. Hope he's able to come back in this game because he was he was playing very the well. There. Good save there by Walls. It's a one-handed pickup. Gotta think the shot clock is starting to get a little low. There's Matherly in the black sweatpants. Whips it over. Baker low. Nice save. Low to mid, mid, uh, mid shot. Great save, like you just said, from Sykes. Tobin. Running around. They might have them pinned back there. Especially with that low pass. Tobin's going to try to look for a check on the stick. Gets it across. Tobin doesn't need to do too much. Just play right there. Thought Walls would have tried to pick that one off. It looked like he just let it cut through. Great play there by Balls Bow. Balls, bow. Balls over to Pryor. Pryor lets it bounce. Picks it up on the second. Moves it high. A little too high to Benedict, but Walls picks it, not not Walls, Ryer. Ryer picks it up, moves it to Tobin, who I believe Tobin right now is playing attack for NC State. And back in the, back on the field is Ivy. So it's good to know that his injury It might have just been a little bit of a, a cold start. Maybe he just didn't warm up and and his muscles didn't like that. There you go, Jake Walls with the goal on the assist from Ivy. Beautiful shot there. He comes back in and the offense automatically picks up. Absolutely. He's now 9-2 in favor of NC State. And this is really good right now. When you're winning, you're not cold for NC State. Yeah, for it sure. feels a lot better in 30-degree weather if you're having a good game like NC yeah. State is. Up 9-2. Rather, on the flip side, Elon is just reeling right now. They don't know how to respond. But... Something to note, this game is long from over, not just because there's 10 minutes left in the third quarter, but when we play, when NC State played Wake Forest, NC State had a seven-goal lead in the fourth quarter with about 10 minutes left. It, was a, it ended up being, a, being eight. It's a two-point, three-point game. Two-goal game, yeah. yeah. I was there. <laughs> I remember that. I was, I was actually thinking that. I remember State was up seven, eight goals, and, and they let uh, Wake kind of creep back into it, but yeah, so managed to pull out the win. That's something you want to see NC State do better at, keeping their foot on the on the throttle, make sure th that they just keep pushing no matter who scores and what happens. They need to keep this lead. Be sure to play and with the lead, and there they go. There's Hank Moss. They're listening the, to us. The man a few steps yeah. with another goal. R again, right on the crease. I that is his fourth goal. He wow. had the great assist from Tobin, the the shot when he came back in in the second ha in the second quarter, then two right on the crease. I mean, it's an, it's an impressive memory. So I am impressed with myself as well. <laughs> quite the amount of goals to have to keep up with for one player. You hear the excitement from the NC State bench. Hear the chance of yeah, White. And that, that's always good to hear. Coming out with the timeout. 10-2. Nine minutes left. What can Elon do to get back in this game? Um, I, I'm i really not sure. I Just more offensive pressure, getting the ball moved around. They've not had a lot of possession on the offensive end, so maybe just try and push the ball up to the offensive end, get some more offensive possession time. and The ball will find the back of the net if they're able to shoot, but it, I don't think they've been able to take – Maybe but one shot this entire this entire quarter, if that. They really haven't had a lot offensively. Their man ups have backfired for the most part. Just is it's strange to see a team with more goals against on man ups <laughs> than goals for. 
Yeah. And that's what's going on for... As an odd sight, for sure. As a former lacrosse player yourself, what would you say the, the Elon coach is, is saying to his guys right now? What is he saying to fire them up or... What is he? What is he trying to? What is he trying to coach into them? It, lacrosse is a game of runs. You're gonna have teams that will go on runs of seven goals straight. That means that you can too. You can really just fight your way back in. in and even a run of say four goals right now would be huge for Elon. That'd be a four four goal game having the lead of NC State. It's very cliche to say, but momentum is huge in lacrosse because it really makes you feel good knowing hey we can keep this going because you know how quick it is to put a ball in the back of the net you know how good that feels so once you do it once hey that worked let's try that again hey they're kind of catching on let's tweak it a little bit and it really starts going on and then the other team they'll start to crumble a little bit so this game is far from o over with Ten minutes left, nine minutes left in the third quarter. Face off, Will McGow McGowan kick. No one can scoop it up. Ball's going Elon's way. If Elon can cleanly, cleanly win that face off and get the ball, then that that would be huge, just for moral morale. Sorry, <laughs> I spoke and it's okay. zooming I'm down the field. He's a he's a zoomer. Oh, oh. Croth Hamill is not happy with himself and there. That momentum shift we were just talking about. That is number twenty, Ryan Mark. I thought his name was going to be Mark Ryan. <laughs> A man, of two first names, puts one in the back of the net for the third goal of the day for Elon. It looked like for Croth Hamill. He thought it was going to bounce. I think he misjudged oh, the bounce. He did. It, yeah. I think he thought it was going to bounce a lot faster than it did. He was already in position, and the ball wasn't there. And his feet were already set. Ball just bounced right over his shoulder. And you saw him afterwards just put his head up. He knew he should have had that one. But sometimes a slow shot is even tougher than a fast shot because you're, 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 you're anticipating it. Yeah. It might just be because the ground is, is so packed down in front of the goals. That it took that hop, and <laughs> just an absolute mess off the face-off. <laughs> Absolutely, face-offs has not been one clean here, but a face-off won by Elon nonetheless, which is That's huge. Two in, a row. two in a row, and they had one quick. Elon has been able to score quick. And we're gonna have no penalty there, and that's balls bow. He's got a chance. He sees Pryor. He skips oh. prior, and that's number six. Harrison Ryder, his his sweats aren't made out of the same materials as Sean Tobin's. That's a tough one for Ryder. Ryder knew right as it went by, he should have had it. Yeah, immediately hung his head and just knew that that could have been offensive production for NC State. Number 14, Nick Copilo. Capallo. Back up with Capallo now. Ball's just being moved around. Just looking for that gap to take the shot. Just trying Not to rushing anything. No. Great offense. Just settle it in. Don't force anything yet. There's no time there's no need to force. That would have been a good look if he could have a good look. If he could have wrangled in that pass. Luckily balls up with Lord Burrow. Now balls are being moved around the crease. Back up with 24, Potter. Potter's been relatively quiet this game. Over to Potter. Potter with a quick back pedal. Potter, ooh, might have got away with the free hand play there. Potter with the no look, no, ooh, great. Wow. Great move, you gotta get a shot off. And he does. Great defensive play, and it's going to go NC State way. Trotham picks it up, looking for a man to break, looking for a man to break, probably just going to send it on up to I'm Elliot didn't Benedict. I'm the back of the net. That was a good look. It was a really good look. You can't really be upset as Elon's coach there, knowing you got the look you wanted to, and you 
You might have used up a lot of clock there, but you ended up with the look that you want. Cross Hamill just had their number on it. Uh, wow. And there we go. Evan Ryer off a spin move. He's dodging towards X. Pulled it back on that spin. Bouncer right in the back of the net. That's a good shot. <laughs> now NC State, they saw what they needed to do. They're keeping their lead. Uh, they've got an eight-goal lead now. 11-3. to three. Still around 21 minutes left in the game. That's some good math. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just did that in my head. That checks out. <laughs> 20, 21 minutes and 8 seconds left to be exact. 6.08 left in this third quarter. Uh, two math problems that we did there. <laughs> I mean, we could go into the fraction of the minute if you want to. I don't. Okay, me neither. Okay, good. Now we're on the same page, <laughs> and it's not the math page. <laughs> <laughs> that was number 18. Ooh, stopped like on a, a sergeant. There. There's Matherly. Matherly has been oh, just towing too fast for his own good there. Yeah. He couldn't get the sweatpant connection between Matherly <laughs> and Ro and uh, Tobin. Like you said earlier, threw it to where he was, not where he is. Mm -hmm. Great yard sale check there by Jake Walls. Ball out the back, though. Great check by Walls. Getting the stick flinging. Did a little whirly-durly. A little whirly-durly? A little whirly-durly. Never heard that one before. Like a helicopter spinning <laughs> so fast. I'm surprised that stick didn't go up into the sky. Never to be seen again. Luckily, it came back to the ground, though. He Luckily, got it did back. not get stuck in orbit. That would have <laughs> been an issue. Been interesting trying to explain that to NASA. Sorry, we have a little cross stick up <laughs> in there. Ref sprints out of the way. Has a big man charging to him. I would have as well. Good look. Great play there by that. That was Klauser. Klauser. Great box out. Great trail check. This has been some really good gritty play right here. Good pickup, toes the line. Oh, oh just right over the shoulder, 97. And Baker just punts it out. Don't think he meant to do that. He goosed it all the way out. Great check. Feels like Elon had had it figured out for for about a possession or two, and now they've just lost it again. They just don't know. Oh, that was some good offensive. That was a great fast break. Pryor really <laughs> knows how to play, and a very dramatic fall. <laughs> Jake Walls on the flop. He just got touched in the chest and then let his whole body go limp. That was pretty. Maybe pretty he had good. a pressure point. <laughs> There's Tobin, Tobin again. again. That is his fourth or fifth goal. Fifth goal fifth for goal. Sean Tobin. Wow. We're behind. He's too fast for us. We <laughs> thought he had four goals. He has five. He Incredible. Has five goals, one assist, six points. Tobin. We're looking at a looking at a double hat trick maybe for Tobin. Tobin's been playing really well. Oh, our director tells us five points, not five goals, but it is four goals and an assist. So. We might still be looking at a double hat trick, folks. You never know. Can't be correct on everything, but at <laughs> least he knows what 10,000 steps is in miles. That's all that matters. That should be the only conversion uh, you should ever need to know. There's no clear winner on that face off. Two flags go up. Ooh. A little dirty laundry on the field there. That was a chuck by <laughs> the referee close to us. Yeah. He really launched that little dirty laundry. Sh shout out to Don Henley, <laughs> the Eagles. If you can get that reference, you're as old sold as I am. <laughs> that was one for me. I don't think many will get that. Um. 
Kansas gonna State have will it. have possession, it looks like. I'm going to have Tobin start with it at the top. What's this man up going to do for NC State here? Uh, I mean, maybe it'll backfire on them like it has for Elon. Um, but the way the way NC State has been cohesively playing has it, it, it would in, indicate otherwise. Uh, but, I mean, you never can tell. Maybe they'll get it into their minds. Hey, we're a man up, and, and maybe we can be a little bit more errant. Ball's picked up behind the goal. Ball's going to be moved around. Matherly with it. Matherly has seen a little bit of playing time, but not too much. I don't think they're trying to rush him in right now, try to re-aggravate that hamstring. Same with Baker. Baker with it, though. Ooh, good save there by Sykes. Baker scrapes across. They had the double cut from the same side going. One man just curled in. The other stayed up top. And Baker looked like he slipped. I can't tell what number that is on Elon, but he has some speed high, on him. High pass to 24. It didn't look like he needed to do that there. And NC State looks to double. But man comes on. And we're going to be even. And flag is down. Got to be careful to not get another penalty. But... And a legal screen on number 54. That's a large man to half screen you. But that's going to be it's a man up for Elon. And if if historical trends are to be to be believed, might result in another goal for NC State. Or somehow less offensive production for Elon. But I don't know. Coming out of the half, maybe. I don't, I don't think they've had a man up this quarter. I believe they've been a man down this quarter. I don't think they've had a man up, so maybe they the coach. started the quarter with a man up. Oh yeah, yeah. The possession was NC State. They let a goal go through. Now, obviously, you want a goal if you're Elon, but how do you better your man up to get that goal? I just think you tr like don't force anything. It seems like they've been trying to force it on their man ups, and now they're moving the ball around trying to find that open look. I but if if you rush it and you you know that they get that rebound or the clear, then there's a fast break and advantage goes to NC State usually, or whatever team gets the fast break. And man up is now over. We have the release. Looks like NC State might be trying to get back into their regular defense, and all men are accounted for. That is sometimes usually tough to do, especially if you're a man defense. To get back into that man, make sure everyone knows who they're guarding, and you don't have two guarding one. Usually, you'll just have teams that stay. They'll have a call. We called it, I think, Jayhawk. Or that might have been a zone defense, <laughs> honestly. Shout out to Kansas. Yeah. It was a call where you made sure to keep it the, the same defense. Ball stops just shy of our broadcasting booth here. I couldn't get Redmond it back Field. to Reef. <laughs> Reef has Trying been to use the force. I tried. I would have gone and got it, but my headset would have ripped off. <laughs> Good little juke by Reef and Oh wow. Ref digging for the flag. Ball's up. Number <laughs> nine knew it. I, I didn't think he was gonna throw it for a second. I didn't either. I thought he was just trying to keep his hands warm. Maybe he, he tucked it too far into his pocket by trying to keep his hands warm. And that was number nine for one minute. So that's going to be a penalty. NC State's going to be man up for a minute. 54 seconds left, so no point in really trying to hold it. it you want to get your best play. Look for NC State, what they have been doing very well on their man up that I haven't seen at all from Elon, which is baffling, honestly, because it's usually textbook basic man up. To move, to just move the ball around in your set, yeah. move it around the defense, get them moving, and then, then start your play. So you, you know what your play is, and you have a one or two call or so. You move the ball around one or two times. Once you move it around that set number of times, then you start your play. You just want to make the defense move it around. So, so they're not settled in there. Exactly, which. Elon, by not moving it around, they let 
they let NC State settle and play very aggressive on them and check the ball and get the ball back. 26 seconds left. NC State now into their play. They, I believe they might have had a two call on. Moved it around. Ball up to Matherly. Matherly gets checked. Moves it over. High pass to Tobin. Tobin scoops it up. 13 seconds left. You still want to get a shot off. Moss, the man of a few steps. Pass to Walls. Just wide. Walls going to go to the back. You hear hold, hold, hold. Just keep it. And that is the end of the third quarter. NC State is up 12 to three. Bennett, take me through that third quarter. What did you see from the NC State side? Uh, a little less offensive production. They only had two goals, I believe it was. I think it was 10 coming out of the half. <laughs> no, it was, I believe it was Eight? six. Six? Was it six? I think it was six to two, it was. Oh, well then, I lied. A lot of offensive production from NC State. <laughs> Sorry about that. My memory's just not on point. Should have written that down. But so yeah, a little bit more offensive production than I was thinking. <laughs> I guess we just got so used to that in the in the first half that we just settled in and didn't realize they scored so much. But Elon only able to put one goal on. They looked good on that goal, and then it didn't seem to stick with them from there. It just kind of fell apart. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned Elon. Not a lot of production, only one goal. What? Where do they really need to improve to get back on track in this game? Uh, man ups. If they have a man up, then they need to convert that into a goal and turn the tides a little bit because their man ups have been a little sloppy, leading to NC State goals or just NC State possession where they've run out the time on those man ups. And it just hasn't worked out for Elon. So they just need to capitalize on those man-ups and just get some more offensive possession time because when they have the ball and they're moving it around, they look good. But as soon as they lose possession, NC State's just too quick on the draw and gets it up the field very fast. And Elon just most of the time doesn't look like they can keep up. We have players jogging back to their positions. For both teams. And something that I've been wanting to mention here is I was talking to Jake Walls earlier, and we're talking about the cold weather, and something that most lacrosse players will do with the cold that I never really had to do because I never really worried about it, but many will, under their gloves, they'll put on the latex, like surgical gloves, to keep their hands warm. And he told me how he tried to do that one time, but what happened to him was his hands just ended up getting clammy <laughs> and he wasn't able to grip his stick as well. So you can, s some players might have, oh, oh wow. Tobin, some players might have, s have uh, gl gloves on, but I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter if Tobin does, he's going to find the back of the net. That is his hands are hot all the time. That is his fifth goal. Sixth point, as we now know. <laughs> but he really does have the hot hand in this game. He is beating. Actually, so right now the score is Sean Tobin five, <laughs> Hank Moss four, Elon three. And we have two NC State players accounting for nine goals. And that is some really good production. And ball out of the back, won the face off by Elon. Just ball just goes out. It's not what you need if you're come, trying to get back into it. Down 10 goals, definitely not. Don't want to turn the ball over, even this early into the quarter. Cross Hamill moves it up. Ball's out, moving it around. Looks up. Ball's about a little hesitant to run off. Moss looks great cut on the back by by Wall. Saw him a little late though, and was able to get the nug by the defenseman. Snag by that Elon player. Now it's going down the other way. We got a got a fast break. That is number forty-five. He is quick. Yeah, I noted him earlier. Couldn't see his number, but I believe that was him, number forty-five. Very speedy. 
maybe Elon can settle into an offensive scheme and get a goal to move move some more momentum their way. He's got the hoodie speed. <laughs> Ball being moved up. That's number 54 with a shot. Still cross Hamill and net for NC State oh, with a great save. Clear. There's Ball's bow. Still running. Good pass Stadden. Ball's bow cutting. Oh, great save there by Sykes. And you gotta think Ball's bow wanted wanted that feed. He had that clear path. Is Ball's bow gonna stay? Ball's bow is leaving. That is a shame. Would like to see a little long long stick play <laughs> by Ball's bow there, but it makes sense. You have Reef Ivy there. You might want to get him on the field. Plus, offense with the, the long stick just isn't as optimal. It is tough. And number 17, Klauser, lying around. Klauser tries to get one off the backside of the net. Sykes runs out. Klauser he, he thought he had an open look. Yeah, that, was, that was a decent that was shot. A very small window to try and squeeze that one into there, but thought yeah. he had the look, just couldn't get it there. It was a tough look. Ball's being moved around X. Ball's up top center now. Is that it? That's number 38. Still not on our roster. Oh, great little move there. Tip There's a little sham god. <laughs> a little sham god there for him. He is the answer. Uh, another There's slip a little in that slippage. corner. That same corner that we were we were mentioning earlier in the second quarter, I believe. Hinshaw with a great pass to Ivy. Ivy slips. Pryor scoops it up. Didn't look Quick like Elon toss. wanted possession there. They weren't challenging that ball at all. It really didn't look like it. Good little move. Great trail Still check. Don't know somehow. how Ryer kept <laughs> in the back of his stick. Moss with a great scoop there. Really made sure to kiss it. You want to kiss your hands down to the ground, scoop it up all the way through and true. For those at home, there is a demonstration going on here. Scoop Sam it through, through and true. Doing a shoveling motion. <laughs> scoop it through and true. It's the old motto. Don't know if any coach actually told me that, but I wish they did. <laughs> I didn't really have to worry about that. I mean, I, I was able to get away with one hand scoops because <laughs> I had a giant net. Things, things stick in your head better if, if they're rhymed. So. That is really true. Great shot wow. by Stan. That's his second. He's not going to celebrate. He's just going to sprint to the sideline. That, Very that's humble a celebration. Real professional. He's just going to celebrate with the coaches on the sideline. What a shot by Stan. He, he went low to low. Sidearm shot. <laughs> right in the back of the net. And th that ball didn't have much daylight, but uh, it found it. Found the daylight very quickly. I didn't think that was a, a good look. It didn't look like a, a clean lane, but somehow the ball found its way to the back of the net. Sometimes uh, those hidden lanes are some of the best shots, especially for shots like that where you go low. It really hinders the goalie's ability to track that ball. Has lots of bodies to go through, especially with just all the, all the white in the night. You have most of the cleats are white. It's tough to see that ball. I remember playing one time. I had a defenseman. You have butt caps on the end of your sticks. If you don't have a butt cap, that is illegal because then the metal could cut someone. Yeah. So he had a butt cap on the stick, but normally some players will tape theirs down. That's what I did to mine to make sure it stayed and it f was better for grip. But his wasn't taped down, and it was white, and it popped off a stick at one point. I thought it was the ball. <laughs> And so after that game, he he ta he spray painted it red. <laughs> made sure how many red lacrosse balls yeah, out there? Yeah, the I made sure there were no white butt caps on my <laughs> team. Or if you have a white butt cap, tape it down. It's kind of like in football. If you have players with the yellow yellow gloves and they're running, it kind of looks like everyone's just throwing a flag. Yeah. Speaking. <laughs> Some speed down the sideline yeah, there. His goodness. legs were a blur. Oh, that was not Tobin either. 
And that was the other light gray sweatpants That's player. That's Ryder. Ryder. Ball picked off. Walls is not happy. He's trying to run back. Moss tries to, to catch that. Matherly is going to be on the run. Moves it to Moss. Takes a little check. Moss moves it over. Short pass. Bounce pass to Baker. Ball bounces over to the referee. It's a nice little bounce pass from uh, from Moss to Baker. Yeah. Hope Baker gets another goal and remembers to give Pac TV <laughs> some love. For now it is 14 to three. NC State is up 11 goals on Elon with nine minutes left in regulation. The hope is getting dim for Elon here. It really is. Nine minutes left, 14 to three in favor of NC State. They would need a very, very insane run to get that comeback get going. That comeback. Walls with the quick pass to Moss. There's Benedict. What? Benedict on the on the run. Good little pick yeah. up there by Benedict. He's got that quick stick. It does. NC State might have heard our comments about the, the Wake game and, and that comeback Wake had uh, mounting. And now they're just not getting complacent, keeping their foot on the pedal, just trying to trying to keep keep Elon at bay. Yeah, with teams teams that can really score quick, like Elon has shown when they want to, s when they have been able to score, hasn't really been off long setup plays, but rather qu quick plays on the crease. You really want to chop the head off of that snake. You want to make sure that there's no way that that they can come back and attack you. Good little nugget. Almost, almost got an own goal there. Yeah, I tried to set it down, but usually as a defenseman, you want to smack it down, hold like your net back, make sure it doesn't roll, and then let your goalie get it. He literally just said, here you go. Kind of let it roll. Very risky. If that goes in, it's on you. It's not on me. <laughs> yeah. Ball's out of my stick. That's your problem now. Ivy now just sauntering over. We just passed the 7 minute and 18 second mark. Rolling it on down. NC State looking good here up 11 goals. And here we go, Sean Tobin now. Looking for that double hat Ooh, trick. And good save there by Sykes. And he really was a good little move. Kind of like a little Kobe turnaround. <laughs> Shoots it in, didn't get it. Well, to be fair, Kobe's career shooting percentage was around it's around 37 so hey man that still scores that's been <laughs> it was more like a dirk points. it was kind of a little dirk move yeah i'm sure dirk's percentage is a little bit better but uh, this isn't the nba this is the this is the selc a little bit different a little bit a little Some bit higher competition drawn, in the northeast division of the selc S-E-L-C. Oh, Ooh. that's an S-E, not top 10 play. That, it, it looks like it, but it was a high IQ play. He knew he wasn't going to get a shot clock shot off with the shot clock oh. going down. He heard his coaches shouting the time, said, just hey, just going to chuck it, yep. let our team set up, rather than just a qu quick turnover. Just get a little time off, just dump it to the corner, just try to get something off. Oh, great little move there by Benedict. But he started to run without the ball, trying to avoid a hit. If you're going to do that, you got to pick it up. Ryder gets a good move. Balls to Walls. Walls moves it up to, to Benedict. Benedict, surprise. Oh, nice little bounce that shot That was a there. great shot by Evan Ryer. I believe that is his second on the day. Something that I want to note is... This is a lot different than my high school team with their long sticks. Normally in high school, you see a lot of long sticks. If they get past midfield, if they get near the box, they don't even look to anyone else. They're not going to pass. NC State has got some very unselfish long sticks. They're, they're looking to get the ball in the back of the net, not by themselves, but by the team. They're very team-oriented. Yeah, Will McGowan on the face for NC State. Wind sort of died down, but the air is still very chilly. 
yeah, it's still not ideal, but without the wind, it is it is more manageable. It is 32 degrees right now. Thirty-two feels like probably twenty-four, but twenty-four and still no win. A couple of flags come out. We have pounded. Don't know what happened there. Three-three. That's on Henshaw. There's gonna be a penalty on Henshaw. Henshaw to the box, but. Don't know how big of an issue it is with NC State playing man down. I want to see if Elon moves it around at all, like we talked about earlier. They're a little bit a little no, early movement, and they're right into their play. They don't really have, they don't really move it around too much. They're just trying to rely on quick. But oh, oh lucky! Oh. Th that just is how it's been going so far for this Phoenix team. Really. Just some <laughs> bad bounces, and Crothamel really needs to get it out. Tried just to fling it. That was good pressure it there the by Elon. Puts it in the back of the net. Crothamel lost the little handle of a stick. Knew, his bo knew the stick wasn't going to get there because he was over pursuing, so he threw up his hand trying to slap it out. But Crothamel made the, he had the smart idea. He knew he was under trouble right in front of the goal, so if he dro dropped it, all Elon really needed to do is just hockey it in. So he tried to just chuck it out. But if he would just contain himself, he had a man to his left. It is a lot harder. I've been in that position. It is a lot harder than, than it is just talking about it up here. But he didn't put enough power on it to just chuck it out like he was trying to do. Right into the midst of, I believe, 47. And he brought, he passed it back down. And Elon made him pay. Elon with the faceoff win. Looking to try to put another in the oh back wow. of the net. There's another goal. That's 15-5 to five now. That's the most scoring we've seen from Elon all game in such a short period. So 10-point lead, 4-15 left in the game. And this might be a tall ask. This is a tall ask for <laughs> Elon, but it is not – unheard of you can definitely see you can see at least you can <laughs> a see a, yeah you can see some momentum coming elon is not done yet they're a team that's gonna fight to then and on that last goal elon was just able to get a clean a clean face off win able to scoop it up get that break and and put it on the goal almost immediately they have a play on i believe it'll go against nc state Oh, I was completely wrong. It is going against Elon. <laughs> it is in favor of NC State. Well, that was a 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> it really was. Have Benedict directing traffic, pointing at players. Ooh. High check fixes his helmet. Good little flip back to, to Matherly. Matherly to Moss. Moss taking a lot more steps than he normally takes. Moves it over to Tobin. Tobin to Ivy. Tobin's got to be looking for that, that double hat trick. Absolutely. Yeah, I think he <laughs> wants to be a little hungry. Wants to get one more. He's definitely stack, stack counting in his head. <laughs> He's got 320 on. And Elon, they've seen the damage that Tobin can do, and they still put a short stick on him at the midfield line. Rips it oh, in. Oh, that is from, that's from the box line. That is. A far shot and it almost went in, but a great save by Sykes. Yep. Great, great, great shot, check. great save. Absolutely. That is a long shot. If I was Elon, I really, it might be, a, it's late now, but you want, that's 20 seconds. That is a great ride by, in, by NC State. That is exactly what you want to see. That gets the team fired up. Your defense is, ec is ecstatic back there. And seeing their middies do that. There's Moss. Moss punches it back in. <laughs> and now. I look at the clock for three seconds and NC State scores. Moss and Tobin are now tied 5-5. Oh. 
it's a 5-5-5 five, five, five game <laughs> between Elon, Tobin, and Moss. Who will win? Gotta think, Tobin really wants that one. As I was saying, though, Elon has not put the long stick on Tobin. Normally you put your long stick defender on the other team's either one of their best middies or their most dynamic ones. That today has proven to be Sean Tobin. Especially with the speed. Not Sometimes you you just need to put it on the man with the speed because it gives you – you have a six-foot pole. It really helps you, allows you to play farther away, and if they start to run by you, you can turn them back. You're really allowed to dictate where they go, but putting a short stick on Tobin usually is just not going to work. Cause and it has it tonight. Defenseman has to play off of the – Offensive players' movements. He has to read Tobin, and Tobin is so quick. It is a tall ask for anyone to guard him. Have number 97 now bringing it in. One minute, 49 seconds on the clock. 16 to 5. Wolfpack. Gotta feel like things are slowing down in the players' minds right now. There's a minute 30 left in the game, and NC State's up 11 goals. Both teams are fairly sure of the outcome at this point. Yeah, have both teams fighting. Uh, shot clock is going to reset. It's going back to going back to Elon. Balls being moved around. Balls up with number 48. Has the double now. Double comes. Good check. Number 37 on it. Wide open, man. Mm. Wide shot, though. It's a tough. It would have been a tough save for Croth Hamill to make. but There wasn't a lot of net showing, but there was enough for, for a skilled player to put it mm. back there. He just shot wide. He did. He had a wide open shot. That's one that you want to put on cage there. Ball's moved to X. Had a little slip there by Pryor. Pryor, very aggressive defense. Great check again by Pryor. Pryor's like a bulldog out there. He's just coming at you. Or he's like a puppy that wants to play. He's just going to let you know he's there. Ball out the back. Got 20.8 seconds left. You got to see NC State bench is probably getting a little ready to run. <laughs> see Croth Hamill get their feet moving. Ball's up. That's Ryer. Ryer's moving it. And he puts oh. it in. And <laughs> Ryer puts it in the back of the net, but I don't think... <laughs> Coach Demarest is too happy about that. You hear him shouting, run it out, run it out, run it out. Because they score. Can't, can't resist that open yeah, shot. Yeah, 7.7 on. Uh, if I was in Ryder's position, I would have put it in the back of the net. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. But You just uh, told everybody. Oh, man. <laughs> but Secrets out. No one tell anyone else. But <laughs> you're not really going to be able to stop someone from scoring really in that situation. It's a tough one. Asking someone not to score. That's asking someone that loves chocolate not to eat chocolate. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fair analogy. Thank you. And I believe that is Ryer's third. So that's hat trick. He wants that hat trick. <laughs> and he got it. 7.7. 7. We have Nick going on the face for NC State. Although from the coach, maybe it's just a question of sportsmanship, not putting it on the goal mm -hmm. with seven seconds left. Because you know you're going to win. 12 goals up. 11 goals when it happened, but that's game. That's true. The siren sounds, and NC State wins their first divisional game of the season, 17-5. to We'll be... Hi, and welcome back down on a chilly Wednesday night. NC State picks up the win. 17-5. to 17-5. <laughs> they took away the scoreboard. I wasn't able to see it. And thank you for bailing me out there. A little too late. Yeah. But NC State picks up a big win over Elon. 17-5, to five. and what did you see this game from NC State? Just 
impressive offensive possession time and pressure on the Elon defense that just was struggling to keep up with NC State from the get-go. Obviously, they came out early with that one that one quick goal, like 30 seconds into the game. But then from there, NC State took over and just really scored nonstop on Elon the entire game. We had NC State, two players accounted for 10 of their goals, Hank Moss and Sean Tobin. And that bodes well going into more divisional play. NC State picks up their first win of the divisional season against this Elon Phoenix team. Now, what's that mean setting up, looking looking up at the schedule, circling other games on your calendar? I mean, it's definitely a huge momentum builder coming in 4-4 four and four to this game. Obviously, those games weren't divisional, but this being their first divisional game is a huge booster to their confidence and their momentum going forward in the season. And we'll wrap it up with our Wolf Wolfpack Outfitters, star of the game, and who do you have for me, Bennett? Sean Tobin with those five goals, the one assist, six points on the night. His speed is just unmatched, and really impressive performance from him overall tonight. It was all in the sweatpants from Tobin tonight, and we appreciate you tuning in for PAC-TV. I have been Sam Harding. This has been Bennett Lincoln. Thank you for watching.